morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. Watch at our earlier daylight savings time. Good morning, VI. Good morning, morning. Wake up. Good morning, VI. Quite often, we all get nagged by minor body aches and pains. But rather than going to a doctor, we usually decide to try some alternative remedies. Well, today on Good Morning, VI, we're going to visit several facilities that offer alternative treatments to contemporary medicine. Please stay with us as we talk about alternative treatments working from the outside in. This is Good Morning VI. Wake up VI! <laughs> it's time to tune in! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning VI. It's the morning show for you to start your day right and walk through your day right. I'm Denise and as always, Lisandra and Dolais, we aim to inform you and inspire you as we cover a variety of interesting topics important to our everyday lives and our community, like healthy living, green living, education and family, money matters. Well, on today's program, we're talking about alternative treatments, working from the outside in. We're going to explore all kinds of alternative treatments that some may consider traditional and some very untraditional. But the exciting thing about it is that we went to these facilities and we went and we talked to the people who were able to tell us exactly how it works. Like acupuncture, <laughs> right, Lissandra? Yes, Denise. I got up close and personal with the acupuncture needles. So yes, it was quite an experience. And also on today's show, we're gonna be talking about chiropractic <laughs> treatments and massage therapy, and a variety of alternative treatments. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm pretty excited because we're actually gonna have an alternative treatment right here in the studio. Mm -hmm. And Lisa Edwards is gonna give me a reflexology massage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look, we all look forward to that. <laughs> well, before we get to all that, as always, we wanna start the day right. So we start every program with a prayer, a scripture, and a word of encouragement. And Lisandra, she translates the scripture and the prayer from English to Spanish for our Spanish-speaking viewers. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise and bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for caring for us and for bringing us peace. We thank you, Lord, that we do not have to worry or fret about anything. Instead, we cast all of our cares and present our requests to you, Lord God, and you take care of all that concerns us. We thank you, Lord God, that peace in our minds and in our hearts is the peace that only you can give. In Jesus' name, amen. Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, le damos gracias y santificamos tu santo nombre. Te damos gracias, Señor, por su cuidado de nosotros y por traernos paz. Le damos gracias que no tenemos que preocuparnos o molestarnos por nada, sino echamos nuestras preocupaciones o presentamos peticiones y nos concedes lo que nos concierne. Le damos gracias que tenemos paz en nuestras mentes y corazones, que solo tú nos da. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Well, amen. And today's scripture comes from Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious for anything, but in every situation, 
by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Filipenses 4, 6 y 7 Por nada estéis afanosos, sino sean conocidas vuestras peticiones delante de Dios en toda oración y ruego, con acción de gracias. Y la paz de Dios, que sobrepasa todo entendimiento, guardará vuestros corazones y vuestros pensamientos en Cristo Jesús. Well, that brings us to our word of encouragement. And what I like about that scripture is just one of those scriptures that gives us instruction step by step in what to do to achieve peace of mind. Well, our word of encouragement today is, have peace of mind, regardless of any situation or challenge you face. First, you must refuse to worry. Second, turn your focus away from your problems or fears. Third, fix your mind on the solutions and trust in God's power to bring change as he watchfully cares for you. Only then you can and will experience true peace. When you think of that, peace of mind is everything when you think about it. I don't care how much money you have, how much clothes, you have, whatever, peace of mind is, is something that, that just comes regardless of what you have, be, just being content with your life and Anxiousness. That's, that's right. Yeah. Free of worry. Is a That's Free. right. It is. It's a killer yeah. in so many ways. Mm. And um, stress, high blood pressure. Oh yeah. Mm. Not good. Wrong decisions. Confusion. Confu yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Not being able to 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 just function mm -hmm. day yeah. to day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of exactly. Anxiety. And and that's part of why I think in so many scriptures, especially and you know the one today, when the first thing that is that that the word says is. Do not be anxious for anything. anything. That's the first thing. And that's what I love with the, the instructor. They tell you the first thing you do, don't worry about anything. Because that really just throws everything off. Yeah. And it's know? a command. And I like the way it's framed as a command. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you think yeah. about the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. You should do this. Well, yeah. what do you do? Don't worry. Don't you know, it's a, worry. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a really yes. Isn't it funny how, how we're always, oh my goodness, what to do, what to do. It's right in the word. It tells you what to do. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Bring your Be petition by nothing. nothing. Right. Yes. And right. the first thing we do is, oh, my right. God, right. that's what I'm going to do. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, we usually worry first and then pray. Oh, that's God. God. Oh, help but me, say, please. Don't worry. Just pray. pray. Bring your pray. petition and your request pray. to God. Yeah. Yeah, you know, always. and then and thank him for it and because be for nothing. right exactly yeah, yeah. and then that's when you'll have the peace so peace of mind well all about peace of mind well today it's peace of mind and body because we're talking yes. about alternative treatments holistic <laughs> treatments from the outside in yeah so I know that you had an exciting time. I the, did. The, I had a very special experience yeah. that I'm, of course, going to share with the audience. And the audience, I want everyone to know that Dolis is the one that forced me. <laughs> <laughs> me. To yeah. actually get the treatment? Well, not to actually get the treatment, but, you know, to get, especially acupuncture, we know it's needles. Yeah. But mm -hmm. to get the needles, you can imagine needles in your face. Yeah. I was really going to just do it like on my hand. And she's like, no, 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 Lisandra. Oh. You have to do it on your face. And oh, great. Yes. We're going to so, just see that. I, I, oh, but it worked. That's great. Yeah, yes, it did. It works. <laughs> and we're talking about chiropractic care. Yes. And we'll be talking to a chiropractor and a massage therapist because of the great benefits of therapeutic massage and then reflexology. Yes. Oh, it's exciting. Well, uh, coming up next, just stay tuned as we talk about alternative treatments treatments working on the body from the outside in and good morning bi yeah 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 what's your prescription for carrying a professional service the medicine shop pharmacy we accept most insurance plans plus you'll save more by using the medicine shop prescription discount card we carry a full line of medical supply products for sale and rental, hospital uniforms in all sizes. We're the best choice for sundry products, greeting cards, vitamins, and much more. 
the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 776-1235, Havenside Shopping Mall, Caring Beyond Prescriptions. at 9000 Lockhart Garden or on the web www.furnituretnvi.com or just call 774-2583. Let Furniture In make your house a home. Welcome back to Good Morning VI as we're talking about alternative treatments working on the body from the in outside in well something we just need to tell you though if you have aches and pains or whatever thing that you may be suffering from we do recommend that before you embark in any of these alternative treatments that you check with your physician first that's very very important mm -hmm. well let's get on with it the first is chiropractic treatment chiropractic care I, I was able to visit Dr. Matthew Kravitz and he was able to demonstrate and talk to us about chiropractic care and really describe and show how it is that it actually works for the body for healing and for treatment. Let's see what he said. Well, good morning Dr. Kravitz. Good morning. Now tell me what is chiropractic? Chiropractic is a unique type of healthcare system. It's a proactive system that involves nutrition, exercise, and manual medicine. Um, and I want to turn the question back to you, Denise, and ask you what you think healthcare is. Healthcare? Well, I think healthcare is a concern plus action for, um, for a healthier body. Okay, and what makes a healthier body? Well, I guess good nutrition mm -hmm. and, and uh, exercise. Yes. Drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. um, and, and well, a good emotional state. Yes. You really, to your emotional um, health. That's perfect. So what I like to sum up good health is that we eat well, we move well, and we think well. Mm -hmm. So those are three aspects that we can take into our daily lives for true health care and a proactive health care, mm -hmm. which is what chiropractic is really about. What does chiropractic do? Chiropractic, we are, along with nutrition and exercise, we are normalizing with our adjustment, which is the key when people think about chiropractic, they think about the adjustment. We are putting a directed force into the spine mainly, but any joint of the body really, to free up the nerve flow. There's abnormal motion in the spine, which is not allowing the nerves to properly function. When the nerves don't function, there's an abnormal input um, into either the digestion, the stomach, the knee, the hip, the low back that causes pain and stress. So you're saying when you say an abnormal uh, part or function of the spine, you're saying that there's somehow a connection there to all of the organs that you're talking about? Yes. And how is that, what is, or how is that abnormality demonstrated when you look and you, uh, you know, you look and evaluate the spine? It's a movement deficiency. So all of our segments in our spine, and I can show you here, are supposed to move interdependent of one another. So when one doesn't move, let's say right in here, a lot of time asthmatics will have blockages in here. And we're not having as much movement as we would want. So we are freeing up that movement to allow the nerve flow and therefore kind of prevent or stave off some dis-ease. What other kinds of, you mentioned asthmatics, mm -hmm. uh, what other kinds of, of diseases or conditions that often can be treated with chiropractic? Well, treat as a, we do not use drugs or surgery. So we use a lot of lifestyle stuff. So chiropractic can really be either co-managed or managed for any disease or condition. Um, high blood pressure, there's been some new research out where um, cervical adjustments in the neck have been shown to lower blood pressure. Um, now that doesn't say to run out and get off of your blood pressure medication, but it's helping with that. That's again more lifestyle um, disease and modification as well. Um, there's also bad digestion um, with children, ADHD, and things of that sort. Oh, so ADHD in children yes. has been treated with chiropractic? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. When should a person go to a chiropractor? At any time. We are more of health care. Meaning, nowadays people want to go in pretty much when they're hobbling or limping or crawling in to their medical doctor or anybody else. 
Chiropractic is about true health care. So we want to get people in as soon as possible. We see babies to old people. Um, and we want to get people in as soon as possible to make sure that people are active in their lifestyle. Because believe it or not, you are your own best doctor. Okay, so let's say a person who's healthy, not having any particular problems, but mm -hmm. says, okay, well, I just want to you know, keep my body fit and everything. Yes. And they come into you and they say, okay, I'd like you to take a look. What do you do? Yes. What do you do? First, I do an examination. Uh, well, first thing I do is I listen. And I see we want to know what you want out of it. And mm -hmm. again, I always ask people what they think healthcare is and kind of where they want to go in life and in their healthcare journey. And then I'll do an examination like any normal doctor would, make sure the heart, lungs, you know, everything like that is working properly. Um, do a little neuromuscular scale, so check your muscular system. Um, and then we go from there. And then we go into treatment, whether it be giving a food journal so you can take home so I can see how, um, how you're eating. And that has a lot of effect on our physiology and our system and how we feel and pain and happiness and sleep, um, and then maybe do a little manual work on the body, make sure that everything is moving correctly in the spine and in all the other joints. Okay, so you, then you're able to check the spine. From yes. The, okay, now, we have, read, I think, especially in the past, mm -hmm. uh, many years ago, I don't know how much you're seeing that now, but there have been some controversy surrounding chiropractic care. Yes. Um, and it is non-traditional, mm -hmm. um, but there's been some controversy that sometimes will say that it could actually create great problems with your back if you're not uh, treated properly or, yes. or something. Or sometimes people even say chiropractors are quacks. Yes. What do you say to that? Well, our education is equal to that of a medical doctor. Where they go off more into pharmacology, we do more of manual medicine and nutritional aspects. I believe it's classroom hours where we have even more classroom hours than a medical doctor. So what we want to do is, you know, with any sort of complementary medicine, there's always going to be um, someone budding the system because we're not in with the big pharmaceutical companies and you know a lot of people who donate a lot of money. Um, we're more of a manual and I guess you would say complementary because we don't use drugs or surgery. We believe in the body healing itself and helping the body heal itself. Okay, so when you say complementary, you're yes. saying not in lieu of medicine but along with, is that what you're saying? Complimentary. If you need medicine, then yes. If someone needs surgery, I'm the first one to send them out the door. Um, but a lot of the times we overprescribe drugs and we overprescribe surgery. Nobody's ever been born with not enough drugs in their body. So it's a lot of the times it's one of the big, big things that we fall back to. And it's, um, you know, it could be a mistake when there's more natural things and the body can heal itself. And especially nowadays with our high blood pressure, our heart disease, a lot of things that are inundating um, our healthcare system are really lifestyle modifications as opposed to take this pill when it's really just showing you're dying at a faster rate with lower blood pressure. Um, as far as kind of the, you know, I think there's um, precautions that need to be taken with anybody and there's risks in any sort of you know, healthcare field, but as long as somebody is properly trained and they're doing the proper exams, then there's there's no point that, you know, things should be should be make it worse. And that properly trained means that there there are what kinds of education or what kind of educational levels should you have to yes. be well, a as, chiropractic? As far as a chiropractic, um, you need a bachelor's degree, usually in science, and then you go to three and a half years all year round, including the summers. It was tough. Um, constant schooling and we have about 10 classes a day yes so from about 7 20 a.m. to 4 p.m. and that includes you know your anatomy your physiology we do have a little pharmacology but we don't do it to prescribe we know so that when people come in with their long list of medications exactly what those pills are and we know what co contradicts that treatment then okay, so it's just it's, it is another form of would you say holistic treatment yes for the body I would yes well, that's how chiropractic is an alternative treatment coming from the spine, the central nervous system, which is really, um, really pretty interesting. And coming up next, we're going to be talking to a massage therapist about therapeutic massage, and that's Lori Peterson. So stay tuned on Good Morning VI. Time to tune in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day the Lord has made.
see why many children love GCLEP Music Academy, Tillett Gardens, and content. Call 344-6449. Gee, it's fun learning to play. Good morning, DI. Welcome back. We're talking about alternative treatments, working on the body from the outside in. Well, we had a chance to slow down the pace a little bit when Denise had an interesting chat with massage therapist Lori Peterson. Here's what she discovered. I am here with Lori Peterson, the proprietor of Therapeutic Massage Center right here in St. Thomas. And she is performing and demonstrating for us a massage on our model, Audane Brown. Lori, I'm so glad. Welcome to Good Morning VI. Thank you for having me. Now tell me, Lori, why is it that you decided to become a massage therapist? Well, massage therapy offers many, many benefits. and. After receiving monthly massages myself, I became one of the people that received many of those benefits. Oh, okay. What kind of benefits are you talking about that you have with massages? More like stress relief. You have pain relief. You have great increase in circulation and relaxation. Oh, what are the various types of massages? Well, here at Therapeutic Massage Center, we offer therapeutic, a therapeutic type of massage. And that massage focuses in on the muscle itself. So it helps in the relief, the relaxing of that muscle. Mm -hmm. So is that the relaxing of the muscle, how does that associate with getting rid of the pain? How exactly does it work? Well, how it works is sometimes when someone has pain, they actually uh, have decrease in oxygen and different nutrients. In the muscle that the, Yes, that the, that, the, uh, that the blood brings. The, um, and sometimes there's a buildup of waste in the muscle. And what massage does, it actually brings increased circulation. There's two things that actually that massage is proven to do. It's proven to give increased circulation and relaxation. So when the person gets the massage, the increased circulation brings in the healing oxygen from the blood and the nutrients, therefore relaxing the muscle and releasing the endorphins from the brain and giving that person, uh, makes that person feel better, you know? When you, like I know you've been in business for quite some time, what is your training first of all with respect to massage? Well, I started at um, Potomac Massage Training Institute in Washington, D.C. and then I went on and had um, training in medical massage and limp drainage and different types of therapy, prenatal massage. So when, when is it then that should a person go to a massage uh, therapist to get a therapeutic massage? How do they know when they experience these aches and pains that a massage might be in order? Well, a person should come to us after, once they start feeling pain, they should really know what the pain is from. You know, so they will probably see the doctor and the doctor, if the doctor says, well, you know, it's a muscular, um, pain, muscle spasms, or you know, muscle tension. Then they give us a call here at Therapeutic Massage Center, and um, we'll set them up for a therapeutic massage. Okay. You know. Do you find that your clients are mostly male or female? Most of my clients here at Therapeutic Massage are mostly females, mostly women. We do have some men. They come for deep tissue or therapeutic massage. Okay, let's talk about deep tissue then. Well, uh, what does that and what, what are the specific benefits of deep tissue and why is it related to mainly men or why do they seem to like that more? Well, they like it because it's more of a, a deeper type of massage. We might use the elbows, the forearms, you know, they, they might like it a little, bit, a little bit deeper. You can get more deeper into the muscle itself. If people are, are suffering or they suffer from um, aches and pains, muscular aches and pains, and it's on a regular basis. What do you recommend, or is there a recommendation as to how often a person should get uh, a massage to maintain good health? I recommend once a month. You know, because massage therapy can also be a preventive type of therapy. So, Laurie, what are the other types of massages that can have some health benefits? 
Well, we, we have various types of massages here at Therapeutic Massage Center. We start off with the Swedish massage, which is your relaxing type of massage. We talked about the deep tissue and the therapeutic, but we also have your own personal steam baths, where you're steamed, you're under a canopy, and the steam goes in and you sweat. What's the benefit of that? It releases toxins from the body. Through the sweat? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And then we also have the, um, we have a new therapy that's called Ashiatsu. That is one of our most luxurious, deepest type of massage. Mm. What's that? That's the barefoot massage. That's where we walk on the back and the you muscles. You actually walk on the back? Yes, it's okay. a deeper type of massage. So I think it's going to be good and beneficial for the men that likes that. Deep. The heavy, deep. Yes. Oh, great. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. That sounds great. I also heard about hot stones. Yes. I heard, hot, I just heard great things about the hot stone. Hot. What, is, what is the benefit of the hot stones? The hot stones is a deeper type of relaxation. You know, it gives you that ah feeling. Yeah, that's what I heard. You know? <laughs> well, tell me, with the hot, what is it about a hot stone, just putting a hot stone on your body that does that? It's not just that. They're, they're placed on various muscle groups, mm -hmm. and you get massaged with it. You know, oh, okay. so you know sometimes heat just gives you that comfort, right? And that's what the hot stone massage does. Oh, great! Okay. Now, after you finished uh, with the massage, and I've heard sometimes that you you offer a bottle of water or it's recommended to yes. drink. What 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 is the relationship between the water and the whole process of? of well, the massage therapy is actually the manipulation of soft body tissue. And with that, when we're massaging the tissues, sometimes there's the buildup of those toxins in the muscle. So once we move the waste and the buildup throughout the body with the circulation, then the water helps to move it out your body. Oh. You know, so it, it carries it on. It, it finishes the work. Just gets it finished. Yeah, good finish. it finishes the work. Oh, good. You okay. know. Well, um, Ardain, our model, how, how is it feeling? You feeling better? Really good. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much, you. Lori. And that's again, Lori Peterson at Therapeutic Massage Center. Go get your massage. Love it. Love it. That is my that's favorite good. That looks kind really of really good. Yeah. Not look, it is good. Ooh. It's fabulous. Yeah, that is. And I after you get a good massage, all you want to do is just sleep and relax, mm. drink your water. Mm. Yeah. It seventh heaven really yeah, is what it is. Lasting effects. This is what I have them too. Lasting effects. Lasting you don't know, as far as stress and relaxation. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes for months, depending on what kind you get. Wonderful. Yes, yeah. yes. And I have very specific people I go to because mm -hmm. I'm very, very picky about my massages. Yeah. <laughs> I don't try the one at uh, Tiahatsu, I think that's the name of it, where With she the, walks on, on the, the back. back. That, let that me know how it is and, we'll, and, and let me know. I was going to tell you to let me know. Oh, yeah. So you that you <laughs> know you have good trust like that. Well, coming up, speaking of adventure, Lisandra is going to go under the needles. Stay tuned as we come back to Good Morning VI, alternative treatments working from the outside in. Virgin Islands Oncology and Hematology provides care to patients in the VI with cancers and blood disorders. Dr. Errol Hobdy on St. Thomas and Dr. Preston Dalglish on St. Croix, two locations, one team, provide chemotherapy in a private setting. Virgin Islands Oncology and Hematology has been serving the VI since 2006. On St. Thomas, 776-1551. On St. Croix, 772-1551. Compassionate, caring, competent Caribbean. Welcome back to Good Morning VI, where we've been talking about alternative treatments working from the outside in. Dolesa and I visited the Nirvana Temple, the only Buddhist temple in the Caribbean. And we talked to Dr. Maitru, acupuncturist, and Dr. John Pulpura, cosmetic and general 
dentist. So let's see what the needles did to me. <laughs> Good morning, VI. And we're here today at the beautiful Nirvana Temple with Dr. May True and Dr. John. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you so much for hosting us. It's our privilege to be here. Oh, yes. And we are so happy to be here. Your temple is beautiful. Tell us a little bit about it, Dr. True. We have built this uh, six years ago, and we just got finished a few years ago. And uh, what we want to promote is healing, okay. the spiritual healing to everybody from any religious background. This is a Buddhist temple, but it's more a philosophy of uh, kindness and compassion. So everybody is welcome. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about your background, Dr. Chu. I am actually a physician, but mm -hmm. right now I only do holistic medicine, and that's what I believe in. I went back to school to learn acupuncture, nutrition, meditation, and here I am practicing it. Okay, <laughs> tell us a little bit about acupuncture. Acupuncture is a very, very old, I would say medicine, but it's more like an art, a philosophy as well, because uh, it tends to um, balance your energy, your chi, your vital energy, which mm -hmm. is totally different from Western medicine, which okay. is a science. And acupuncture is part of oriental medicine. And oriental medicine include acupuncture, of course, meditation, herbal medicine, acupressure massage, everything that would balance your wellness. Acupuncture is the insertion of the tiny, very fine needles the size of your hair into acupoise, which are located on your body. And what we do, we look at your tongue first and we take your pulse and we have three seconds, no more than that, to look at your tongue. Oh. Because uh, after th three seconds, mm -hmm. then it will change. The shape will change, the color will change. Oh, so really it's not the right diagnosis anymore. And again, acupuncture goes along with nutrition. And yes. I would like to give you some recommendation mm -hmm. on nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, for your situation, you said you didn't mind that I would No, I don't at all. I do have sinuses and allergies, yes. and that's what she's going to treat me for yes. today. <laughs> okay. okay. For sinusitis, uh, it's important for you to avoid cow dairy. Anything that is dairy <laughs> from the cow, like milk, cheese, ice cream, whatever delicious. <laughs> because we live in the Caribbean, and we don't have the four seasons, like for instance, up north in New yes. York, okay? Yes. And here, the weather is always humid and yes. damp. And when you eat those products, it bring you flame, mucus, and yes. humidity and dampness into your body. Yes. So dampness, add up to dampness, it will be very bad. Okay. But if you okay. were staying right now in New York, I would say go ahead. It's okay. Not a, Okay, matter. but because of the, the weather. The, okay, here. okay, uh -huh. okay. We also treat um, a lot of uh, ache and pain. We do pain management. Is what we do mostly. Uh -huh. um, people come to me. They don't come to me like when they first had that ache and pain from two days ago. They come to me like from a condition that they had for five, six years. Mm -hmm. Then it takes longer. Okay. Yeah. We don't do magic. Honestly, okay. <laughs> okay. And healing sometimes takes time. time. And usually it takes, you know, um, a few treatments. Before like, it's, it's... Actually, in your condition, you will feel right away some differences. At least, I would say, 25% better. Mm, but that's if you a had, lot. Yes. yes, it is. <laughs> if you had a lot of pain on the shoulder, for, instance, for example, then you will feel the relief a lot more. Okay. Then the sinus problem, right? Okay. Of course, of yes. course. Yes, mm -hmm. and it works. It works. We have been around for at least five thousand years. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Western That's medicine it's, it's, has been around for two thousand years, and uh, now the American Medical Association has approved acupuncture. Mm. So acupuncture is very popular. You could find acupuncture therapy in. Uh, a Cleveland Clinic, yeah, John Hopkins Hospital, NYU, and they even offer classes. 
and they actually have like acupuncture dentistry, oh. holistic dentistry, yeah. which Dr. Oh, John, John is going to talk about. Yes, it's more and more popular now. Oh. Well, thank you so much, Dr. True. And we're going to come back to speak to Dr. John. I have to go and change to get my treatment. So we'll be back with Good Morning VI. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yes. This place is beautiful. It is. I was it like, is. where is that? <laughs> but I didn't realize this yes. place is so it's beautiful. It's in Mandal and it's beautiful. Yeah. The grounds are just gorgeous. totally amazing. Yeah. Oh. And one of the things, I don't know if you noticed, I was very nervous because I was just thinking about the needles. Mm -hmm. But just um, the, the atmosphere very and, calming. you know, Dr. True talking about what it is, mm -hmm. yeah. it made me feel a little calmer um it didn't help that dolis insisted that the needles go into my face <laughs> instead of my hands um but um you know just her explaining the entire procedure and also i learned so much because um i really did not know that acupuncture was so respected in the medical yes. field oh, in fact um, dr true is an actual medical doctor as well as an acupuncturist yes so. yes well yes yeah. so now we're gonna see when the needles go in Ooh. Ooh. yes <laughs> oh yeah with us today is john Purpura. thank you also known as Dr. John. In fact, he'd rather go by Dr. John, correct? Everyone knows me as Dr. John. Dr. John. Now, it's also appropriate because you are a practicing dentist on the island of St. John, right, this Dr. John? This is correct. John? Okay. Now, Dr. John, give us a little bit about um, of your history, your, your, your training, your, your dental training. Where'd you go to school? I went to school in Columbia University okay. uh, in New York City. I okay. graduated in 1990. Okay. Following that, I was a professor at Columbia University. Okay. For many years, I stopped in 2005 as I transitioned mm -hmm. down here to the Virgin Islands mm -hmm. because I was tired of shoveling snow in New York City in one of the <laughs> warm weather down here in the Virgin Islands. And I started to slow down the commitment that I had in New York. Okay. So I was transitioning from 2004 into the present time, mm -hmm. which is on a practice at St. John Dental okay. in Bullion Center in Cruz Bay in St. John, okay. Virgin Islands. Lovely. Thank you. All right. Thank you for being with us, Dr. John. Now, Dr. John, how is holistic medicine related to dentistry? Good question. What happens is that dentistry historically has been separated from medicine, mm -hmm. but it's not so. It, the mouth is part of your body. Anything that enters your body really enters through your mouth. The air that you breathe circulates through your mouth, mm -hmm. the food that you eat, mm -hmm things that you drink. So if there's a disease state in your mouth, it can spread. The other thing that we see in holistic dentistry, or just in general, if you combine an Eastern philosophy with a Western philosophy, is that there are different meridians. Okay. Meridians are actually just channels that float through your body, mm -hmm. channels of energy, <clears throat> that correspond to different aspects. The meridians are also in your teeth. If we see decay or chronic disease in an aspect of the mouth, we can usually see that same type of chronic disease or disorder in other organs that are aligned with the same meridians. Oh, so, so the mouth is kind of an indicator of what's wrong all along that correct. energy channel known as the meridian. That is, is that correct. correct. The mouth can often be the first sign of a disorder that could be a systemic disorder okay. because it's easily visible. Okay. Sometimes your internal organs you cannot see, right. but they are represented in your mouth. In your mouth. We're back with Dr. May True and Lissandra. And Dr. True is about to start the acupuncture procedure for, Le for Lissandra's sinusitis, right, Doc? Yes. All right. First, we're going to start to wipe the area that we want to insert the needles on. So it's going to be on the hands and a few points on the face. And you will feel like, like a mosquito bite if you are sensitive.
So Dr. True, how do you know where to put the needles? From the tongue reading. Oh, okay. Yes. Those acupoints uh, by the wrist is called uh, large intestine number four. Each acupoint has a name. And this particular point is for the immune system. Mm -hmm. So it will strengthen her. Mm -hmm. And this point is large intestine 11, which is a detox point to mm -hmm. remove the flame, the mucus mm -hmm. that gave her sinus problem. This point is the bonus point that I love doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I do it on myself too every week. It's okay. to de-stress. That's the de-stress yes. point. And okay. it's for clarity. Those points by the, ma uh, by the nose is for sinus. About the acupuncture needles, how long do they have to stay in for? About 20 to 30 minutes is sufficient. Okay. And I recommend my patient to rest after the treatment rather than running back to work. Mm -hmm. um, rest at least an hour mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's energy flow. So beautiful rest and we will come back, okay? <laughs> It's time for me to remove the needles from our special patient and sometimes we twist the needle you know clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on how much the energy is needed in the body set with your session. Would you like to tell us how you feel? Relaxed. <laughs> good, good. Mm -hmm. You will feel at least 30%, 30% better with your sinus. Okay? Yeah, I felt better already. Good, Yeah, good. not as congested and just relaxed. Good, you sound better too. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow, that's great. Well, yeah, that was a unique experience. I think everyone needs to um, have at least one acupuncture session. It's very I'm going to do that. I'm yeah. definitely doing yes. that. And that place is so beautiful. I look forward yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. And though Liz can attest, I totally sounded decongested better. much, much better. better. I mm -hmm. felt better. Yeah. You know, I felt no pressure, mm -hmm. you know, no sinus pressure, no pressure in my head she talked about me being stressed also and um, i was totally de-stressed oh I, wonderful yes yes it worked. that is it great did. did it hurt or uh, it just felt much? like a little sting mm -hmm. okay. um it didn't hurt as much as i thought it would actually mm -hmm. yes it was a, a, a wonderful experience mm -hmm. yes okay. and uh, ladies coming up next we're gonna be talking about how the hands and the feet relate to your overall health so stay tuned as we talk about alternative treatments working from the outside in on Good Morning VI. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your prescription for carrying a professional service? The Medicine Shop Pharmacy. We accept most insurance plans. Plus, you'll save more by using the Medicine Shop Prescription Discount Card. We carry a full line of medical supply products for sale and rental. Hospital uniforms in all sizes. We're the best choice for sundry products, greeting cards, vitamins, and much more. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 776-1235. Havenside Shopping Mall, carrying beyond prescriptions. Visit us at 9000 Lockhart Garden or on the web www.furnitureinvi.com or just call 774-2583. Let Furniture Inn make your house a home.
welcome back to Good Morning VI, where we've been experiencing firsthand alternative treatments. And we have a guest in our show today, Lisa Pearl Edwards, who is going to get us really up close and personal with reflexology. And she is going to show us exactly what this alternative treatment is all about. Welcome, Lisa. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you, um, Lissandra. I'm here working on uh, Dolise's Dolise. Yeah. <laughs> Dolise. feet. I'm Dolise's feet, doing some reflexology, just doing some, um, some loosening uh, mm -hmm. techniques on her. What exactly is reflexology, Lisa? Ref reflexology is a technique that uh, deals with the fact that you have different reflex points in your feet and hands that corresponds with every gland, organ, and body part. And by me working on them with my hands, uh, I can help open up different blockages that she may have to help her relax and to help heal uh, ail ailments that she may be experiencing, aches and pains as well. Tell us a little bit more about um, the, the points in the feet. I know well, that there's a chart, there's a foot chart. <laughs> there is a foot chart that okay. just shows uh, the different uh, areas of the body that corresponds with the feet. At this okay. moment, I'm working on Delisa's spinal reflexes, which uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems like she has some, uh, some, some, issues, some issues going on in her spine, which could mean that she has some back issues, or it could be that the area where I'm, she has the, the, the blockage mm -hmm. could be a body part in that area as well. So it could be any of these things. Or, I mean, there's an area here, I can see that her adrenal glands have a little bit of a blockage. She's what kind of know? jumping off, she's kind of jumping off of the table the here. Adrenal glands? Her adrenal glands. Adrenal okay. glands do so much in your body. Most people who live out here in the world and work and mm -hmm. have family mm -hmm. and jobs, um, your adrenal glands tend to have a little bit of a blockage going on and it mm -hmm. cause some, some sensitivity, which I could see. Does it hurt? Please. Yeah, so it has a little okay. sensitivity. Like so you doing that, let's say she has a blockage in her adrenal glands, mm -hmm. you doing that is going to relieve the blockage? It can help open the blockage okay. to get to get things flowing again smoothly, nerve and blood flow okay. back in throughout her body, moving. And what about like major organs like the heart? Where is that? Well, the heart is here the on the other foot. Um, oh, basically, basically looking at her feet. This is her body. This is her head, and then it goes down to your body parts oh, here. Okay. So the heart is on this side. Oh, and it's on the bottom of the feet. Oh, I so wish here. the cameras could have gotten the bottom of yeah, the so feet. Yeah, so her heart's in here. The well, audience. And Delise oh, did tell me she's that having some, 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 some issues with her lungs, and so this is the lungs and chest. Okay, and how does, oh, it tickles, yeah. Delise? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, here, let me get you to relax here. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get a little relaxing in. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to tickle, okay, great. tickle you. Okay, they can probably catch it now. The, the heart, the, the way heart you, I and like the way the, you manipulate the, the chest and lungs is this area oh, here. Ooh, I can do it harder, yeah, so yeah, it does I it. Feel, but I have lung problems. I do. Okay. She's having some lung issues, yes. so it does. It is a little painful. I normally, I don't want her to be laughing and it tickles, <laughs> but um, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So that part that you're you're doing this now is where is her, what this organ? This is her chest and lungs and her heart okay. are all in this. This oh, area okay. of her and body. then you said the other foot, so that means that it's on the left foot. You wouldn't find the, the heart on both feet. Right, Is because the heart's only on one side of your oh, body. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so, Makes so, sense. so yeah. the, the organs that you have on both sides of your body, you'll find on both, on both feet. feet. The see. organs that you only have one of, you'll find on the on side. That of, side. Uh, and that's whatever side of the body it is. Oh, great. Okay. So your it's kidneys, on. let's say. The kidneys, you have both of your kidneys, so you, so you have um, your kidneys are on in both feet, feet okay. and even if someone has uh, a body part removed like there are plenty of women that I work on who have had hysterectomies that even when I get to that area of their uterus or their ovaries they still have a sensitivity there because you still have nerves that are still in place there that even if you've had that body part removed oh, that were connected to that it's still connected you can still have so you still feel let's say if you you, you can know, feel you still a feel sensitivity the there okay. as well Okay, and that indicates what though? That you still have, well you still have nerves there, you still have mm -hmm. nerves and blood plumping through those areas, mm -hmm. so 
it will allow uh, so things to continue flowing throughout your body just okay. because that organ isn't there you still okay. and what about the hands Lisa tell us a little bit um, about the hands. I also work on the hands as well and uh, the, it's the same thing the feet and the hands the body parts are the same and okay. I can work on the hands as well I can demonstrate that as awesome and it's it's a relaxing type of treatment so which one do you find works, um, let's say, better or that um, clients prefer? Uh, I find that most people prefer, uh, well, for me, for the feet, I find that it's easier to get at certain body parts because your feet are bigger and, you, you know, usually your feet are encased in shoes. Okay. Um, but um, your hands you use all the time and it's a much smaller area. So it's a little harder to get at the body parts, but I, I also do different treatments. So sometimes people don't like one treatment over another, so I will do their hands as well. And some people like the other energy work that I do the Reiki. So they, yeah. I usually do the Reiki after the feet. Okay, and tell us a little bit, because I know that you're a certified reflexologist mm -hmm. and a Reiki master teacher. What is Reiki? Reiki is an energy work. Reiki, in ja it's an ancient Japanese technique, mm -hmm. which um, means universal life force energy. And and it helps to uh, also to help you relax and to open up any blockages you may have, detoxify, help your body to normalize. And I, it's not as interesting on TV to watch, um, but basically what it does, uh, I, my hands would be either on you or in your energy fields around your body to also help uh, open up any blockages you may have. So with Reiki, you can do that treatment without even touching the body then? Exactly. I can, I can just stand here and put my hands over her body here and work on her as well. And there, you know, there's certain body parts you shouldn't be touching on people that are, you know, sacred body parts. So you would never touch them anyway. So you would just work on the area above. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was saying she had lung issues. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, what kind of training do you get for reflexology as well as uh, Reiki and and those other things? Reflexology. I attended the International Institute of Reflexology, which is uh, based in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I did my training with them. And then Reiki, I was attuned by a woman who used to live here. And now I uh, have finished all my training and I am teaching Reiki here as well. Wonderful. And we'll continue our talk with you. Thank you so much, Lisa, as we come back with alternative treatments on Good Morning VI. Time to tune in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Good morning, B.I. Good morning, morning. Wake up. It's time to tune in. Wake up, B.I. <laughs> it's time to tune in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day. Watch at our earlier daylight savings time. Oh, welcome back to Good Morning VI. As we're talking about alternative treatments working from the outside in. Well, Lisa Pearl Edwards stayed with us to show us some essential oils. I have peppermint, it's beautiful. Yeah. Why don't you tell us, Lisa, how are these oils used in, in, in holistic uh, treatment? They, they, these oils are therapeutic grain, so they can be ingested, they can be inhaled, they can be Ooh. diffused. Mm -hmm. So this particular oil, peppermint, is very invigorating, so you can just smell it, it helps oh, wake, nice. you, wake up your senses. Mm -hmm. You yeah, can also put... You can, yes, it can open your sinuses. It's also good, you can put a drop of it in a glass of water if you're having some digestive issues to settle your stomach. Oh, so you can actually drink it. You can drink, drink it. it. Okay. You can make a bug repellent with it too. You can add some water in a spray bottle and spray your plants to help keep mm. bugs away naturally. Mm. So there's a lot of things that you can do with essential oils in this particular line I'm a distributor for here in the Virgin Islands. And oh. They just have a lot of different, uh, different types of oils and blends that are 
good for your whole body. Oh, great. What kind do you have, Julie? I have the peppermint as well. You have peppermint too? Yeah, yeah, peppermint. yeah, yeah peppermint. we all have peppermint because oh. it's so good. It's do you ever nice. use the oils as part of the reflexology? Yeah. I do sometimes. I also do another technique called the uh, raindrop technique, and it's part of this, this particular company, and it's a bunch of oils that help. I do a reflex on mm -hmm. the feet and then on the spine to help also open up different nerve uh, blockages and energy blockages you may have, and it just helps you to det detoxify and relax. Okay. Does it help with like I guess aromatherapy? That's also the, because it yes. smells great. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. also yeah. used in aromatherapy nice? as well, and yeah. I do use it within my treatments, and I diffuse it throughout the room during a treatment yeah. as and well. Different oils. Your treatments are done where? Is that at Compass um, Point? Can yes, my us? office is at Compass Point Marina mm -hmm. on the east end of the island. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, my own private space and. Oh, wow. Just come, visit come, you yes, come on down and, come, and yes. come for a okay. visit. <laughs> thank you so much for joining yes, us, thank Lisa. You. you are so welcome. Thank you, ladies, for having me. I really had a great morning. Oh, wonderful. And uh, first of all, we would like to remind you again that it is important that although these alternative treatments that we have featured on the show are really good and holistic and everything, it is very important that you see your physician. Yes. If you have any ailments or, or anything just for regular checkups and for good health, do visit your physician to make sure everything is working properly, okay? All right. Wow. So just this so is good. This is so great. I want to smell it. Yes. <laughs> you know. Well, it brings us now. It's time for our assignment for the week. Our assignment for this week talks about achieving that peace of mind. Okay. So it comes in three parts. First, get on the road to achieving and maintaining peace of mind. Take an inventory of your worries or fears and replace each one of them with faith. Practice letting it go, that's letting your problems go, giving it to God and leaving it there. Yes. Okay, and it, it takes practice and sometimes people say it's easier said than done, but start doing that and that's your assignment. Okay, and of course, that brings us to the end where we have our confession, our confession and our affirmation. And today's confession is, I am free from worry and fear. I trust God to care for all of my needs. I have peace. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Until we see you again next time on Good Morning VI. Watch at our early...